of my father and I'll always be proud of my mother and my father, but I'm my own person. People have seen that in the Attorney General's office and they've seen that I'm a fighter that fights for what's right and that doesn't back down. I think and now to politics. He is the first candidate, Democrat or Republican, to throw his hat into the ring for Kentucky governor, a position, of course, that his father once held. Flanked by his family and his running mate, Andy Bashir made it clear education will be a top priority. Our political editor, Chris Williams, on the Bashir ticket, traveling Kentucky today to make it official. Chris, not a huge surprise. No, Rachel, Andy Bashir has chosen Kentucky high school teacher and basketball coach Jacqueline Coleman to be his running mate. It was clear that education, public pensions, and the tone of rhetoric in Frankfurt will be cornerstones of their platform. It is a big day. We got the whole family here. We have two whole families here. The candidates arrived with their families to the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage in Louisville. But there was one obvious member of these families not present. On a day in which Andy Bashir was to announce his run for governor, his father, former Governor Steve Bashir, was not at the first stop. Kentucky deserves better. So I stand here today with my wife Brittany and our children Will and Lila to announce my campaign for governor. A clear signal he was stepping even further from his father's shadow. With him for this step is Jacqueline Coleman, who took aim at Governor Matt Bevin, claiming there's an all-out assault on public education and educators. We have been insulted, disrespected, devalued, and even called names by our current governor. General Bashir has been in legal and social media fights with the man who took over after his father left Frankfurt. Today, the Republican Bevin tweeted, For those Kentuckians who did not get enough corruption, self-dealing, embezzlement, and bribery during the eight corrupt years of Governor Steve Bashir, his son Andy is now offering a chance for four more years of the same. He included the hashtag Bashir Family Tradition. As your governor, I will listen especially to those who disagree with me. And together we will move forward and these days of bullying, name calling, and my way or the highway will be in the past. Some will see today's announcement as a culmination of two and a half years of using the AG's office to play politics to set up your run against Matt Bevin. To those people you say, to those people I say we have nearly tripled the number of child predators we'd remove from Kentucky communities. That's good, that's not political. Uh, we have worked to end the rape kit backlog to fund the crime lab so it never happens again and created a cold case unit to seek justice for those victims. That's the right thing to do, it's not political. We've attacked the opioid epidemic day in and day out, even suing drug manufacturers. That's certainly not political, it's the right thing to do. Rachel, we also learned today that Andy Bashir will support expanded gaming, and he said that he thinks that that can help fund uh, public pensions, get them back on their feet. And he also uh, answered my question about medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. I asked whether he, uh, Kentucky should legalize marijuana. He said he thinks that Kentucky should get a chance to vote on medical marijuana. He didn't answer the question about recreational marijuana. You know, we've already seen the contentious relationship between Bashir and, and Bevan, and yeah. we kind of questioned in the newsroom, would Bevan weigh in quickly? And boom, he it, did, didn't it, he? It took a couple of hours for the governor to chime in on his own personal Twitter handle, not on the governor's Twitter handle. And if you look at what the governor's done on social media over the last six, eight weeks or so, it's not been like it was for the entire time he was governor before that. It's been very much, uh, there have been uh, flowery pic uh, videos about Kentucky and moving forward and jobs and things of that nature. So I wasn't quite sure whether the governor would, would chime in on this, but... When you talk about Bevin versus Bashir, <laughs> it's just a matter of time before something pops up. And speaking of that, we want to know what you think. Right. If the election were held today, do you think Andy Bashir could beat Governor Matt Bevin? Matt Bevin hasn't said whether he will seek re-election, so this is, of course, just a hypothetical question right now. And don't throw something at your TV if you say he hasn't yet won the Democratic nomination, because while you're right, no one else has officially jumped right. into the race. And we're going to talk about that at 530, but make sure you chime in on this megaphone thing, because we're going to... Be watching these results. Well, more than 300 have already voted, just to let you know. And we just opened this up just a couple of minutes ago. And right now you can see that it says Andy Bashir with 72% of the vote, Governor Matt Bevin 27%. And again, early on, just hypotheticals, just to say, what if? And you still have to win the primary to yes. face Bevin if he runs. If he runs. There are a lot of ifs there. Lots All of right. cards. All right. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.